Alright, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh wait, that's the book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Cheese Touch, the board game. Wow, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, they made a board game out of it? Yeah. Those are funny books, huh? Really funny. Well, cool. Well, do you like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Cheese Touch, the board game? Yes, I do. And why? Well, I like it because... Well, you can play with six people, and that's the perfect amount for our family. What you do, uh -huh. well, the objective yeah. is to get to the finish without the cheese touch. Okay. So you're all the characters from the book? Mm-hmm. You try to get around the board, and there's the cheese. How do you get the cheese touch? How you get the cheese touch is if you draw a card, and you fail the card, mm -hmm. you get the cheese touch. Oh, great. Okay, well show me how you play. Alright, so you pick your character, and then you roll the dice, and I got a three. I'm going to pick the girl, because I'm a girl. One, two, three. I got, who said what? And do you roll the dice every time? No, you do not. Only the first time? Yeah. Okay, now what do you do? You draw, who said what? And it says, what's the longest you've ever gone without bathing? And then you would have a paper and a pencil, and you would write down your answer. You would put it in the middle, shuffle it up, and flip it over. So everybody writes down that. Yeah, except for the person that wrote, that drew the card. Okay. And then they would flip it over and have to give the right paper back to the person. And, well, it gives you information about other people. So if you get it correct, and you get everybody correct, then what happens? What you do is, if I had three people playing... I would move up three spaces. On your next turn? On your next turn, I would have yes or no. So what is the yes or no card? The yes or no card. Have you ever gotten sick after going on an amusement park ride? And same thing like you did with this. You write down your answer, but you don't put it in the middle and shuffle it. You just go along and you say if they wrote, yeah, well, you guess what they wrote. And then you would say yes, and if they wrote yes, they would flip it over and you got it right. Everybody crosses it out though. And then if you went to him and you thought he got sick, but he wrote no, and you said yes, you would get the cheese touch. Oh, so you got to guess what everybody said correctly to move ahead three spaces. Yeah. Nice. All right, well, what are some of the other cards? Well, do it like this. You do not flip the card. You take the card and give it to the person to your left. Okay. They flip it over and read it in their mind. And then I would say, eat your cereal like this. And I wouldn't look at the card, but it says angrily. Let me see. Okay. If you were acting like you were eating your cereal angrily, and I said fastly, then it would move on to the next person. And they would read it, and you get five tries to guess it. And if you don't get it, you get the cheese touch, which I already have. And then you get, would get to see the card. But if you got it right, you'd move ahead three spaces. Okay. I still want to see you eat your cereal angrily. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have cereal, so I can't. Yeah. Okay. What are the other cards? Well, the other cards is Great Minds Think Alike. That's what I'm on. Okay. And so, Great Minds Think Alike. What's the best type of cookie? You would read that in your mind. Pick a player that's playing. And then read it out loud. You would write on your paper. If you wrote chocolate chip and they wrote peanut butter and you um, flipped it, you would get the cheese touch. But if um, you both wrote like both chocolate chip, then you would both move ahead three spaces. All right, and there's one more card. What is it? I'm on randomness. Okay, so how do you play randomness? Randomness is, Rolly shows you a page, oops, of his sweet secret diary. Tell everyone a secret of your own or go back three spaces. So randomness or just crazy things you have to do? Yeah. If you do the card, then you would move ahead three spaces. Or you would go back three if you didn't want to tell any secret. Okay. And if I told a secret, I would move up three spaces. But I would get to the finish. But since I have the cheese touch, I can't win. Oh. So you just sit there forever? No, you don't. On your next turn, you could pick any of the things. And if you did it right, 
you wouldn't have the cheese touch, and you win. Oh. So was it a fun game? Mm-hmm. Have you liked playing it a lot? Yeah. Well, what would you rate? I uh, would rate it a 4.5. Oh, very good. Who do you recommend it for? Families and... Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mark.